Hello, beautiful people. Let's go ahead and get into this nightly devotion. All right. So our devotion reads God's purposes. All right. And this is from Job 42 and 2. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Job knew the Lord. He was a faithful and blameless servant of God who was upright in the eyes of his friends, his community, and even God himself. When he questioned the Lord's intentions, God revealed more about his holy character through a divine dialogue. As righteous as Job was, as righteous as Job was, he was nothing compared to the goodness of of God and he knew that which is a beautiful thing I just want to start right here it is a wonderful thing to be a stand-up kind of guy or woman in the eyes of your friends your community and even God shows favor on you but you have enough humility uh, and fear of the Lord respect of the Lord to know that you are a good person but you're nothing compared to the goodness of god so that's amazing character quality to have job's response to the revelation was humble and submissive he had been reminded of who he served and that his pain was not without purpose his concluding declaration was that God could do anything and nothing could oppose God's purpose. No matter how upsetting or intrusive God's plans may feel to us, only he can see the bigger picture. We can trust him. And so the question of the night is, how did God use Job's suffering for good? So let's talk about this fairly quickly. If we don't know the story of Job, the story of Job in a nutshell is that Job was a man of God, right? He loved the Lord. He knew the Lord with all of his heart. He was a faithful servant of the Lord. The Bible says that he was blameless, right? Um, All of his friends, everyone that knew him, you know, they knew him to be a stand up kind of guy, honest guy, right? Had everything together. And so because of Job's faithfulness, the Lord had a hedge of protection around him, right? So the enemy went to God and said, I bet you um, I can get Job to turn his back on you. I can get Job to curse you. And the Lord said, you can't, you know. And so the enemy said, I, I can. So God said, okay, I'll allow you to do whatever you want to do, but you can't touch Job. So the enemy was like, bet. So the enemy took out his children. He took everything that he owned, everything that had value to Job in his life. He took it out, right? And so you would think that the things or the people that mean the most to you in the world that are no longer with you are your children, right? The enemy thought that that would be the thing that would have Job to curse God. But Job still did not do that. The enemy said to God, I can't touch Job because you have a hedge of protection over him. So the Lord removed the protection from Job and that's when Job became gravely ill. And that is when his wife became frustrated with everything that's going on because mind you, his wife lost her children too. Those were their children. And so, you know, you can imagine the emotion and the grief and everything that she was dealing with as well. And because Job stayed faithful, it frustrated her. And she said, why don't you just curse God and die? And so the purpose, I believe, of this story is that, first of all, you stay faithful to the Lord no matter what. Because again, loss is a part of life. And so no one lives forever 
on this side of heaven. And so that is to be expected, right? And so because you lose someone and it's uh, the most heartbreaking thing that could ever happen to us to experience an emotion like that, we still are to remain faithful to the Lord. Another lesson to be learned in this is that even during our hardest times in life, God is still faithful and God will not allow us to go through more than we can handle. And so we can't allow life's troubles, no matter how bad they are or how hurtful they are to separate us from the love of God. We cannot allow whatever we go through in this life to separate us from the love of God, because that is what the enemy wants. And that is why he tried so hard to get Job because he knew that Job's heart was for the Lord. So that's, how God used Job's suffering for good. Um, that has been your nightly devotion, you guys. Uh, shameless plug. I have a YouTube channel. Not sure if you beautiful people know that, but I do. And if you would like to um, watch more of my videos, head on over to my YouTube channel. Um, I show my face a little bit more over there. Um, and yeah, please subscribe. And if not, then we could just stay friends over here on TikTok. That's fine. No problem. But all in all, thank y'all so much for watching my videos and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.